we've got two functions, f and function g, and they're defined as follows. So f is a quadratic, and x can take any number, that's the domain. And in this case, uh, the function g is uh, uh, 3x divided by 2x subtract 1. Notice x can be any number, except x cannot be equal to a half. It says evaluate f of g of 2. So for part a, obviously start off by working out g of 2. That's when you substitute 2 in here. So 3 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 take away 1. So 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, and that will be 6 divided by 3, uh, which is obviously 2. So g of 2 is 2. So therefore, f of g of 2 is the same thing as f of 2. Just putting 2 in. So we put 2 into this function here, which is 2 subtract 2 squared, which is 2 subtract 4, which is negative 2. So f of g of 2 for a nice easy 2 marks is equal to negative 2. Then it says solve the equation g of f of x is equal to a half. So what we've got here, we've got a composite function. I'm going to start over here, you work down the page. So g of f of x, we're going to put f of x into the function g. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this into the function g. So g of f of x, let's work that out first of all. So uh, we have 3 and we're going to put in 2 subtract x squared divided by um, 2 multiplied by 2 subtract x squared take away 1. So we're putting the function f, which is this here, into the function g everywhere where we see x. So let's just tidy this up before we do any equation solving. This would be 6 subtract 3x squared divided by this multiplied out. Well, that would be 4 subtract 2x squared take away 1. And just tidying this up would be 6 subtract 3x squared divided by 3 take away 2x squared. So that's our g of f of x. Now we're trying to solve this uh, g of f of x when it's equal to a half. So let's just make that equal to a half, expand it, and solve the equation. So let's 6 subtract 3x squared divided by 3 subtract 2x squared. We're going to make that equal a half. We're going to multiply. Um, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to multiply both sides by 2 to make this a 1. And I'm also going to multiply both sides by the 3 subtract 2x squared to get rid of this on the denominator. So what am I going to get when I'm multiplying both sides by 2 and that? So I'm going to have a 2 on this side and 6 subtract 3x squared. And on this side, 2 multiplied by half is just 1. I'm just going to have 3 subtract 2x squared, like that. So let's expand this out. This is 12 subtract 6x squared is equal to 6 subtract 2x squared. Let's collect all x squareds together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 6x squareds to both sides, and I'm actually going to take away 3 from both sides as well. So what would I get? I'd get uh, 4x squared on this side is equal to 9. Divide both sides by the, the 4, so I'd have x squared is equal to 9 divided by 4, and then take square roots, I would get that x is equal to positive or negative, uh, this square rooted, which would be 3 over 2. Now looking up, am I allowed those answers? x is allowed to be anything as long as it's not a half, so my two answers here are x is equal to positive 3 over 2, or x is equal to negative 3 over 2, and I'm done.